Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I will be talking about a train in a field in Denbyshire. I will be giving a bit of history of said train and telling you about why it has been stuck where it is for the past 19 years. To start off let me give you a brief history of this class of train. The class 103 is a diesel multiple unit DMU, built by Park Royal Vehicles back in 1955 for British Rail. They were ordered to replace the existing ageing steam locomotives. 20 sets were ordered and entered service in 1957. They originally worked around North Wales and the north west of England before being allocated to Rycroft and some later in life ending up at Lara. The only major accident involving a Class 103 would take place on the 8th of May 1972 where a Class 24, D5028 to be exact, had a brake failure on the approach to Chester while hauling a rake of fuel wagons. D5028 ran through a red signal into the bay platform where the 103 unit was stabled. Seeing as this was something which couldn't be stopped, the driver decided to jump out onto the platform while D5028 kept on going around 20 miles per hour into the unit. The first coach was completely destroyed, with the second coming undone from its bogies and heading up onto the platform, destroying the canopy in the process. A fire then started not getting put out until three hours afterwards. All three trains were written off and the canopy at Chester was never fixed, resulting in a break in the canopy, still visible today. In 2021, only three cars remain, two of which are at the Helston Railway, one used as a buffet car and the other as a waiting room, both non-operational but both under restoration. The third being number 56160, which is the basis for this video. 56160 is a driving trailer composite lavatory, DTCL for short. The 28th of February 1971 saw the unit getting withdrawn from service and chosen for departmental work as part of the Viaduct Inspection Saloon, gaining a new number, DB975228. Seen in the picture coupled to 50397 at Penzance in 1974. 50397 will come up later in this story. The work to turn them into departmental vehicles was never completed. In the final days before preservation, 56160 along with partner coach 50397 were stored at multiple places such as Penzance, Old Oak Common and Digcot. The units entered preservation in 1978 at Shackerston, the Battlefield Railway. In 1978-79 to it was converted from a DMU to a coach, resulting in the removal of its cab controls, AWS gauge, wiring and many other features. The head code box was taken out and sealed up. The cab was altered to enhance the view and stop people getting in. To help, the door between the cab and saloon was removed. The braking systems were also changed from that of a DMU to a coach to fit its new purpose. Once the modifications were completed, it was rushed into service without a proper overhaul. It was painted into the generic coaching stock maroon livery. The unit would work on until 1992 where it would be withdrawn due to a worn brake disc. It ran on the cheap for 14 years with only having a couple of repaints. 1994 saw it be listed as stored having its interior removed and was deemed as beyond economic repair for the railway. Asbestos was present in the unit seeing as asbestos wouldn't be banned completely for another 5 years. Thus the unit was left in store until 1996. In 1996, the unit was sold for very cheap and ended up moving around from place to place due to storage disputes. It was stabled at Snetterton, Dunstable and a few other places. In 2002, the unit was bought by Richard Thornton of the Denby and Mole Junction Railway Society and stabled at Bodfari in Denbyshire. The aim of the society was to reopen a 3-4 to four mile section of the old LNWR Denby to Mould Railway, but failed to get planning permission during application in January 2003 and on appeal in October of the same year. The plan was then abandoned early 2004. With the plans being abandoned, the unit had to be moved. The main problem with moving it would be the asbestos, which would have to be removed first. Around 2006, I can't find an exact date, but a plan arose to move the unit to the Ammon Valley Railway in Swansea to be reunited with its partner unit which was also preserved by the Battlefield Railway, being number 50397. After it left the Battlefield Railway, it too had storage issues until it finally ended up in the hands of an individual with legal issues which prevented 
any sort of conservation. 50397 got into an even worse state. Mr Thornton, the owner of 56160, was sent to prison in 2008 due to swindling customers and revenue out of £32,000. He was convicted by a jury with a judge saying, and I quote, As an experienced VAT officer, you deliberately used your knowledge of the VAT system to carry out a sophisticated fraud, depriving customs and revenue out of something in the excess of £32,000. This is a gross breach of trust by a public servant. More on this can be found in the link to the article below. In the months following the case, 56160 was under threat as the land was to be sold to make up for the money, customs and revenue lost. Due to planning enforcement issues, the strip of land the unit was stored on remained in the ownership of Mr Thornton, with the rest of the land being sold. The main issue was back to moving the unit, as had been told to, in late 2003. The Denbyshire County Council Planning and Public Protection Services and Legal Services Department considered taking action due to the unit still being on the land. The departments thought about prosecuting Mr Thornton due to failing to comply with the enforcement notice. Details regarding the haulage cost to the Almond Valley Railway were asked for as they considered taking action to remove the unit from Bodfari. In 2009, a proposition to attain a lawful development certificate for existing use, Section 191 Planning Permission, for the storage of the unit at Bodfari. This was due to the fact that prior to the unit occupying the land, the land was used for storage of two old lorry containers. Thus, the land was used for storage for the past 10 years at the time, with a small gap of time when the Denby and Mould Junction Railway Society took ownership. With the asbestos still remaining all over 56160, it would be illegal to move any vehicle by lorry along a public road with exposed fibrous asbestos. If the unit would be moved, the asbestos would need to be removed first. Also in 2009, a donations page was created to fund the move to Swansea, costing approximately £1,925. The comments would be riddled with people not interested due to Mr Thornton's jail time, saying things such as, you're asking for help to move a couple of rail vehicles owned by a man who is currently in jail, and this looks more crooked by the minute. 53097, the sister coach in Swansea, ended up getting scrapped due to no work being taken on it, resulting in it becoming beyond repair. Thus, no reunion. Late 2015, the asbestos stripping started, resulting in the stripping of the floorboards. The body was sealed with a blue tent. The last post on their Facebook page was made on the 24th of December 2015, simply saying Merry Christmas. No more posts were made, thus finding more information about the unit gets a bit more difficult. September 2016 saw the unit getting cleaned up, and the painting getting started from the dirty Prama Green it had been in for so long. October 2017 saw the end corridor getting its first coat of paint in many years. August 2020 saw lettering being applied to the corridor end of the unit, three years after it was painted. The cab also saw a renewal with its bodywork getting fixed up, and in October, the cab end saw a fresh lick of yellow paint. Exterior bodywork started with some welding taking place too. Now being caught up with today, no more updates have been given. Now it's on to my part. Around 2017, I first became aware of this unit in Denbyshire. A friend told me about it giving no number, class or location apart from Denbyshire. I became quite intrigued and really wanted to try and find it. Over the next few years, I tried to figure out more information about it, with dwindling results mainly due to life getting in the way. I found other people's pictures of the unit on Flickr, but there wasn't much to a description. I tried combing through Google Maps looking for anything train shaped in the Denby area to find nothing, thus I gave up for a bit. Mid-2020, after a lot of time to myself due to lockdowns, things in my head aligned and I went to find old maps. I knew it was near Denby, so I found an old map of the Denby to Mold Railway. I compared that map to Google Maps, going along the line until I could see something train-shaped. That's when I hit the Eureka moment. I found it in Bodfari and started doing my research. During November 2020, when Wales came out of lockdown, my friend and I went to hunt it down. Thankfully, we were successful first try. If you are interested in seeing this unit, then be aware that it is on private property, so be respectful. You can get a better shot from the road than the field due to the bushes that have grown since its arrival in the early 2000s. I hope the good work continues and 56160 can finally be restored fully and return to working order at some point. 
It's a shame for its sister car to be scrapped, but still a V. We can't keep everything at the end of the day. Seeing as 56160 start off its life in North Wales, it would be nice to see it working somewhere close by. Some places have been brought up regarding locations such as the Great Yeldrum Transport Museum in Essex, the Cambrian Railway Trust, Epping and Ongar Railway, and the Helston Railway, where the other 103s are stabled. With that being said, nothing has been confirmed and no updates have been given since October 2020, so I can't predict what the future of this unit will be. With things hard to find out the train due to limited information, dates may not be completely accurate, but they're what I found while doing the research. Anyway, that concludes the video. Thank you so much if you've made it this far. Links to all the places I got the information and pictures from can be found in the description. Like, comment and subscribe, and peace out.